Hello, hello, it's James for Audio Plugin Deals here uh, with a little look at uh, the new Kirk Hunter instrument. It's the follow up to Kirk Hunter uh, kinetic strings. It is the kinetic brass. Um, so, for those familiar with kinetic strings, uh, me, big fan, um, this is exactly the same for brass, and I'll show you the instrument. I've um, done a tiny little jack for it. Basically, it's brass with motion, movement, ostinati, and all of that good stuff. Um, so, without further ado, think, shall we get on with it? Here we go. So this is Kinetic Brass Motion Engine, folks, uh, the follow-up to the wonderful Kinetic Strings um, that I had a lot of fun with. Um, uh, uh, you need the full version of Contact for this. So you find it in your Files folder, wherever you've put it, uh, under Instruments. There's one NKI, and you drag it across, and there we go. Let's just hide it. So let me show you a little bit further down here, so we've got all the goodies. Um, this is exactly how it sounds out of the box. Uh, straight out, uh, spread F. Yeah, uh, presets here are uh, Superman 1. Um, so um, basically it syncs to your door. Um, I am at uh, 100 BPM because I've written a tiny little track uh, to show this off. Um, Good. So let me just take you through the door. Top, you've got trumpets here. And under all of these, you've got staccato, marcato, or portato. Staccato, let's go staccato. Uh, these are your little sequences. You can just play by turning this off, which is very useful. Um, this is an auto cycle there for the ranges. Um, this Titan here, oh, you can um, have accents every four, every two, every three, or dramatic accents. Let's have dramatic. There are occasionally dramatic accents. Very good. Um, you can tighten that. You can broaden it. Let's broaden it. Just stretches it slightly. I quite like the tight. Uh, octave above. Yeah. Uh, low range. So this is your range sliders. So if you look at the bottom here, um, that goes down there and goes up here. Woohoo! And the top, blah, 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 blah. Um, you've got triplets up here. In fact, let's, let's just show that in action. Um, let's just put audio view up. Um, let's turn you off. Let's turn the accents. No accents. Ba, 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 ba. Let's just... So this basically means that I'm just going to play this one here. If I had that lit, I'll play all of those, but I'm not going to. Let's go, let's go 4-4. Four, four. So let's go 4-4, four, four. let's go uh, quavers. Pretty straight. Uh, let's triplets. Let's lower the range of triplets. And there you go, that's how you triplet stuff. Um, uh, let's stay in 4-4. Four, four. Um, what else does so that's your um, ranges uh, you've got a mute it's quite nice you can transpose up and down you, yeah um, now this basically brings up uh, your favoritist rhythms So let's do another one, uh, dotted. Yeah, uh, one more. Uh, let's do da 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 Let's go actually in those. Yeah, um, you can copy your pattern. So if I want to copy that and then I want to paste it onto this one, I go to the paste button. Paste it there. Uh, solo mutes. 
and random. Fabulous random. We all like a random. Here we go. Press it. Yeah, now press this little circle and we'll do some more sequencing. Next one. Cool. Um, that's pretty much it for every single instrument. Let's go to horns because we all like a horn. I do like those horns. They're very cool. Marcato. Good. Let's have a dramatic accent. Very cool. You have a drag, um, a MIDI drag up here, waiting for note key input. So I've just pressed that. We're going to do the horns, and we're going to go boom. Recording MIDI data. Done. Press it again. Now I can drag this, drag and drop MIDI. Boom, 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 boom to here. There you go. That's my MIDI. Big fan of drag and drop midis good and then you have global up here so you can um, sequence everything you can um, do just the first bits of um, the sequences if you press this one all of them etc etc you can have them all playing marcato you can all tighten broaden them blah blah blah, blah. you can save your own presets it's all fabulous this one uh, this one is showing the list of midi controllers you can assign and here we go, down here is a mix page. Now, so you've got EQ bands, you've got velocity, velocity variations and all that stuff. You've got reverbs, here we go. More reverb, added reverb. It's quite tasty. Wow. Quite fat. You have um, room and uh, theme mix. Dark and distant, let's go for that. That's just using the far mics. Put the close on. Three, three mics here and mid. You can change it to sitting in the viola section. <laughs> okay. Um, and you have your levels for all your instruments. Uh, you can turn them off and on. You can just do these sections. Uh, and pans here. Um, so fairly standard let's turn it all on let's give you uh arith what is it arithmia good so if you notice these have been transposed let's go up let's go up to weirdness Well, that's a lot of fun, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I like that. Uh, let's go for another one. Driving bass. Here we go. Down here. Isn't that fun? Um, and that's about it. So uh, I think without a further ado, have I, have I missed anything out? I don't think I have. Without further ado, let me just show you very, very quickly what this sounds like. So just so you know, I basically panned my instruments. You can see here um, my uh, horns, as it were, if I was looking at an orchestra, I've put them up there. I've put my trombones there. I've put my tubers there. And on the separate instrument, I've put my trumpets as a solo. Let me just play this from the top. So if I've effectively got a nice rhythm bass pad with tubers, trombones and horns doing this. And horns occasionally coming in like this. I mean, yeah, that sells the instrument to me anyway. Just so that you know, I did make sure that I didn't overlap when I was playing it as spread as I could because um, I didn't really want multiple. I didn't really want more than five billion trump tubers if I was wanting to trumpet line, if you know what I mean. So I made sure that these ranges didn't overlap.
So you can pretty much see um, my blues and my low end with the horns up here and the trumpets come in towards, towards the end. Um, but I'll play this for you and I'll show you as we go along. Uh, this is it. Um, so that was literally done in two, three minutes. Um, I just shoved it in, <laughs> pressed these chords for this. Picked another chord. You know. This is me playing. Yeah, obviously it needs just a little bit of quantizing. And then I just uh, did, uh, did the old trumpet. So, you know, this epic trumpet. You could even put that in yourself. Um, but uh, in fact, I should have really done that, shouldn't I? Obviously, I'm playing it just needs a bit of quantizing but anyway um that's it um so uh if you want something done incredibly quickly maybe a little bit of um rhythmic or maybe a little bit of rhythmic excitement here you go kinetic brass um i was a big fan of kinetic strings and this uh did not disappoint so thank you kirk hunter um i salute you so if this floats your boat, grab it while it's still on introductory offer. I don't think you'll be disappointed if you like this sort of thing.